Michael Burry, made famous by Michael Lewis in his book, The Big Short, and played by Christian Bale, of course, in the movie, put out a fun-filled tweet that I think we need to dissect a little bit. I've got it up here on uh, the screen. He says, yeah, inflation peaked, but it's not the last peak of this cycle. He says, we will go lower and maybe even negative in the second half, and the U.S. will be in a recession by any definition. He doesn't give a date there, but sometime in the future, the U.S. will be in a recession. I guess it's implied that it's the second half. The Fed is going to have to cut, and the government's going to have to stimulate with some fiscal, uh, 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 I guess, helicopter drops. Let's get to Justina Lee right now, joining us to talk about this and, and markets in general. Justina, um, it's really interesting that Michael Berry comes out and says the Fed's going to have to cut because we're going to go into such a deep recession in 2023. Does that jive with consensus? Yeah, that's a really big call there. But I think one part of the tweet that's really hitting at some of the big themes this year is the call for a recession. Now, if you look at all those Wall Street outlooks that they put out, I mean, that word does come up a lot. And it's one reason why a lot of strategists are expecting at least a better year for bonds, if not stocks. But I think the more controversial part of that, that tweet is the call for a rate cut. And now that is currently priced in in the derivatives market, but we have seen Fed officials trying to push against that narrative. I mean, talking a lot about how they will need to see a persistent slowdown in inflation before they even, like, you know, think about stopping their monetary tightening campaign. 